Hello friend, this is Vittal. In this video, you will see how to create the WCF service. So, follow the steps which I am following. File, New, Project. Then after that, <coughs> it's uh, initializing the templates. Wait. Now, sorry, this is a, a WCF uh, templates which is installed. Now, select WCF service applications and uh, now select the locations this is my project location and give the WCF service name as you wish suppose I am giving the name like employee or MP service MP service now click on add button it will create the by default uh, solutions by creating the two files so let us wait by creating the AMP project since uh, it, this tutorial is focusing on beginner so I am trying to focus on all the basics so uh, this is a by default port generated by WCF uh, uh, service so this is a I service one this is the interface and service one dot svc is the wcf file so these are the both uh, files which work uh, on each other so as you know wcf uh, stands for windows communication foundation it is a service to communicate uh, communicate on cross platform applications so so let us learn it from scratch delete delete existing files which created previously so uh, so you will learn how to how to create and from scratch so uh, in my solution explorer there is no files so let us let us add 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 <coughs> wait add new atom then after that select uh, wcf template which will we can cover under let us see we'll find this is a wcf service and now give name this service as employee service e m p l o y w -E, employee service now uh, as you see that there are two files are created one is a i employee service which is a which is a interface and another one is the employee service which is the actual uh, actual implementation class file so how 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 we can work with let us see this is a this is the one interface you as you see which is a i employee service in this i employee service there is a service contract service contract is nothing but the it's uh, it defines the service of the uh, wcf so uh, under the uh, service contract attribute we can define the uh, interface of the WCF service. So let us let us see. This is employee service, and operation contract is a uh, used to define the methods of the WCF service. So this is something. So uh, so class it is that now simply called public public or we uh, don't need to specify the. Uh, access specifier because since it is implemented in a interface so add string add employee add employee and uh, pass the parameter string name comma string comma comma string city city uh, this is a simple example I am showing you because uh, I want to uh, more focus on beginner not for advanced people so they can learn how to create the simple WCF service so we have defined the service contract as well as operation contract which is very important in our WCF service so this is a this is a just a declaration part of our service so actual implementation is done in the services dot SVC so here remove this remove this code now go here and you can now 
in Visual Studio 2015 this shows just uh, show potential fixtures or you can directly implement this interface so let us implement by using this implement interface or implement interface explicitly let us implement uh, interface by clicking on this click on this now the methods of that interface is come here now let us write one simple uh, line let us return return and now new employee mp loi employee having name having name now this should be should be plus and this is name plus added 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 from city added from city uh, this is specify the city name here plus city city so uh, what this method does uh, i have declared one method in uh, uh, this uh, i employee service interface that is string add employee in that i have passed two parameters string name and city and this operation contract i have implemented in services.svc.cs file and uh, this uh, this will returning name and city which we have passed the input i am not going towards the database so i am returning only from here for our testing purpose so all you have done what what step you have followed that is one step is we have created the uh, wcf service by using the template now we have added one wcf uh, wcf files after that we have like uh, create a service contract service contract is nothing but the interface and after that operation contract operation contract nothing but the uh, it is the now uh, method name of the wcf and now now this is one this is one method which has been i employee service and it is returning whatever it is passed to the method so now let us uh, let us test this uh, wcf service now keep this page <coughs> keep this page open now open with google chrome or let us see i am opening in firefox because little bit easy or it will not be open in firefox it will be open in first in <coughs> client suppose it will be open in wsf test client so let us say adding the service now this is add employer sync you not defined it so forget it now double click on this and now pass the parameters that uh, we have defined uh, let us see i will put the breakpoint here let us see uh, putting the breakpoint i hope uh, it is visible for you now let us minimize some screen so i can right one okay now let us let us put the dig buffer point and now pass the name is vithal uh, and my surname talwarja and city name will be mumbai let us mumbai and click on invoke button whenever you click on invoke button it will be fire that method which is defined in the wcf service click on ok now you have seen this is a debugger came here now you have passed a vital version and city name is mumbai so let us return what is returning this method now let us see output is here that is new employee having name vital version added from city mumbai this is a uh, this is the output written by this wcf service so this is a one simple example now let us let us explore the how this re result is returning this is a pure pure xml format now whatever whatever you have given the input means there is a request here why what request we have given that is this is the add employees a method name and now this is a name this is a vital word j and this is ct this is a uh, two input parameters we have passed this is a request 
Now, what response is given us? That is, let us see. This is a response. Response header is add employee dot response. That is add employee dot is a new employee having name Vital Verge added from City Mumbai. So, this is a simple, simple WCF service and how it works. So, I hope. I hope you have learned now how to create the WCF service in just few steps. Uh, if you have any suggestion and any queries, just just log on to my blog www.compilemode.com. Again, I am repeating that is www.compilemode.com. Thanks for your support.